we're all uh, all got different picks here. Tottenham versus Leicester. Mm. Tottenham very disappointing last week against Brentford. Did very, very little. Can't remember him having two shots on goal in the whole 90. Uh, minus 225. Minus one. Should be a free hit around minus 140. Leicester plus 600. Now, remember, Leicester play Roma in the Europa Conference. So they may, may well rotate. They may be tired. Um, under or over three goals. The overs at minus 110. So it's just a straight flip them. Team total. Do Tottenham score three? And if they do, you're going to get plus 155. For me, I was going to go with Leicester not to score at plus 140. Tom, I know you've got um, a firm lean on this. So uh, talk me through Spurs versus Leicester and what you expect from the home side. I mean, like you said, I, uh, is it two games in a row they haven't had a shot? Or a shot on yeah, bonkers. Crazy like that. I mean, my, my first note is, and, and this is from an Arsenal fan I've written, Tottenham are bottle jobs is my first line I've written. Oh, Arsenal fan, we've got to take everything you say now with a pinch of salt. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, for me, I mean, they, they, they were controlling our situation. You know, the top four was, was practically theirs. And, and since then, they've had two really poor results. And I just think, you know, in Conte, they've got someone that perhaps doesn't want to be there. There's interest elsewhere from him. The players even just, they just seem to switch off. Even, you know, Kane and Son... They just seem to switch off in certain games. Um, I don't think that this is going to be one of those games. I think this is one of those games where they, they turn it on, the, you know, the, that front three. Um, so I, I think they score a couple of goals. I think they score at least two, maybe, maybe three. I, I'd, I'd like putting money on the three, to be honest, but mainly because that lesser team is going to be tired legs from their midweek game. However, the part of the, you know, this is Spurs and, and they are bottle jobs. I, I think there'll be a scare in there. And I think I've got Leicester to score a goal as well. So I, my pick is both teams are scoring over 2.5 goals. Um, and I can see maybe Leicester grabbing an early goal or something silly happening, maybe an own goal. And then Tottenham turning it around and, and really controlling 3-1, something like that. OK, that's uh, both teams to score an over. Two and a half is at plus 100 Mitch I got Tottenham just squeezing the life out of just getting three points here um, as we say Leicester nothing really to play for got all their eyes on the Europa Conference um, I, I, I'm going to go with the Leicester not to score here at plus 140 mm. so first off going off of what Tom said there's a couple numbers you, you know I like taking props like player props so the first thing I looked at was anytime goal scorers the numbers are so short like, Son is usually around, like, plus 180. He's at plus 105. So they expect him to score pretty much. And Kane is even worse. Kane's at, like, minus 200. And even for two or more for Kane, the numbers are, like, plus 500 usually. It's at plus 210. So those numbers are telling me they're short for a reason. Then if you go back, like, to March, they, they, they were hammering people. Five goal games, three goal games, five on Newcastle earlier at home this year. Um... They're fighting for a four spot, but the Fox is on the other side in four straight matches. They, they, they scored up until last week. So that's a thing to look at for the both teams to score, especially like Spurs to win a both teams to score. I saw it was a plus 200, but my official, this jumped out at me. Six out of the last home matches have gone over 1.5 total in the first half. That number jumped out to me pretty, pretty, pretty hefty. And it's a plus 144. That's my official pick. Um, whether it's both teams scoring the first half, I, I don't think it's going to go. Like I think I think the Spurs, like Tom said, they get goals, and I think they're going to come out fast in this game. Yeah, let's hope it's two 0 at half time then, because I'm 100% going with uh, Leicester not to score at plus 140. I know it's a bit of a brave shout, but Leicester was so down is, last week. Is Vardy Spurs. is Vardy coming back? Well, he, he well, came on. He on the he bench on. Yeah, he came on. But again, if he's going to be fit, he'll be getting involved in the European campaign. That is for yeah. sure. And also, I've got to remind you that um, in the reverse fixture, it was actually Tottenham won 3 2. So there was five goals in the game. So if you like the over, then I cannot put you off there. But it, Tottenham scored two in the, like, the last five minutes. Uh, Leicester were leading 2 1. But Leicester were in a completely different frame of mind. Um, I'm happy to go with Tottenham to win 2 0, 3 0 here. So uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. And I've got some to add as well, I do believe. OK, so you've got, well, we've all gone for the same here. Both teams to score and over two and a half for Tom at plus 100. Remember, there was five at the uh, King Power. First half over one and a half at plus 145. That's Spurs 
or Tottenham winning 2 0 at half time. Uh, Leicester team total under 0.5. I think uh, I was going to go Tottenham win to nil, but as I've not had a shot in two games, I thought I'd uh, bring in the nil nil and get it on my side as well. James, James is saying Vardy's finished. That's harsh. That's nearly as bad as that Kenneth having a pop at me saying I talk complete ball. Okay. 